Hey, good evening, everyone. It's Adam here. We have our beer and we have a flying GS held up by two jack stands. Really, uh, really pushing our luck here. But why is the bike uh, once again disassembled? Well, it's because we have new tires. A brand new car. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get this, um, this, um, this is my recording setup, by the way. Let's get this set up for you. Okay, so. Uh, if you buy a new GS, you get you get all kinds of different tires. They they you know for a while it was like the Anarchy, and then the Anarchy Adventure came out. And that's that's my favorite uh, GS tires, the Anarchy Adventure for like every everything. I've taken the Anarchy Adventure. I, I one day I've been on the Northeast BDR with the Anarchy Adventure. It wasn't it was a very dry day. It wasn't a wet day. Uh, it was late summer, so you know sandy versus muddy, and then. The next morning, I woke up and went to a track day on the exact same tires, and then I rode those tires another three or four thousand miles. Just the Anarchy Adventure, the favorite tire, I love them. Um, but if you buy a GS, you know all kinds of stuff. Unless you order it with the off-road wheels, um, you get some weird stuff. But you know, remember the fact that ninety percent of GSs never leave pavement. Uh, this is kind of becoming a, one I'm seeing a lot in the 2024 models. This is the one that my bike came in. It's the Bridge Bridgestone. Uh, what the hell is they called? Uh, Battle Axe Adventure 41F, is that right? Um, no, I don't know what this thing is. Oh yeah, 41R, R. So this is what you're gonna get if you get a GS. Some GSs will come with these. You can see the treads there. Uh, it's called an adventure tire. It's, it's not. I mean, yeah, you got the sips are a little bit wider, a little bit deeper. But this is a this is a street tire. Um, get, you know, there's, there's no there's no debating this. It's a street tire, and so uh, I'm keeping these. Like when I do on if I if I do an iron butt this summer and want to do you know a thousand miles in 24 hours, this is a great tire for that. Um, I, I actually having not been on street tires in a while, I was actually kind of amazed at how grippy they are. <laughs> Um, okay, so the other tire that I just wanted to show you guys before I get to the Moto Z uh, track sheet or GPS is this here. Everyone knows this one. This is a TKC80. Uh, TKC80, you know, these are, um, this is a front. Um, these are the best, <laughs> the best knobby tire for the GS if you don't need any miles, long miles. What I mean by that is this tire this is a front. You can see how, how, much these knobs are down. Uh, this is the result of a thousand miles. This is a front. This is a thousand miles uh, in Colorado and Utah, and that is in there about halfway used. So you know what I usually do is I. They're actually they're pretty cheap relatively. Um, I buy TKC 80s when I'm going on a trip where I'm going to ride, um, you know, one to three thousand miles, and I'm going to be loaded up and I'm going to be just like throttle, maximum throttle, just coming out of corners, trash control light, lighting up, uh, just have a wonderful, terrific time. It's almost at the part of like, you factor in gas and hotels and food into your trip. I just factor in a set of TKC 80s for trips like that. Um, you know, we're trailering the bike to the place and then when we get there, we're gonna be on dirt the entire time. This is the tire for that. I love the TKC 80, so, um, but, Longevity is not a thing. Okay, so super super grippy. Uh, I've leaned. I've been leaned all the way over on those and not crashed. And um, yeah, this is the tire. This is the Moto Z Tractionator Rowls R A L L Z, and um, you can see, you can see. Well, I need to get rid of these tires. I didn't realize that. Uh, these are the tires actually that I run on my. Um, um, Husky 701 um, LR. They are um, long lasting. They are very competent on the street. If you're in the rain, you're not gonna wanna lean over on them at all. They're super stiff. And they have the problem that a lot of these early ones had where um, you can see here, this is just this is just cracking away here. Um, you know, like that, can you see that? Yeah, just cracking away. Uh, let's see how many of these are cracked. That's one, two, um, there's a chip out of there. Some of these knobs are just kind of chipped, but um, the reason I kept this rear, and I have a front as well there, uh, is because I plan on, yeah, there's only a couple there that are, that are, that are broken. And this is the rotational direction here. Um, I, and you, get, you can reverse them, these are reversible. 
Um, the reason why I kept this one, this set, is because um, it's got plenty of life left in it. Those knobs are fine to chip off a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not cracked on the actual where the radial is. So the Rowls is the most aggressive, like 90% off-road tire from Moto Z that comes in the GS tire sizes. Uh, this is the tire that I used for um, the uh, GS Trophy Qualifier. I've used this tire for any time I'm going to be off-road. I keep I keep a set of them, and I throw them all when I'm going to be off-road. So, you know, BDRs, long weekends in the woods, going up to Canada, off-road, not on-road. This is the tire I throw it on when I'm, when I'm driving to my destination. Um, so TKC80 is the one where you're trailering in. This is the one you're driving to. Not good in the rain. Very, very stiff. No, no gum at all to these knobs. But uh, if you're on a six, 700-pound adventure bike, and you just need to get there and you don't need your knobby to be eaten up when you arrive. This is a good tire. Um, be easy on the throttle because you're going to have the knob problem that I have where things are chipping away. Easy on the throttle. It will spin. They're not as grippy as TKC 80s. And you can just, you can, I mean, they're just, they're not as grippy as TKC 80s. But long lasting tire. Um, I love these things. They're really expensive, by the way, but they last, um, you know, you'll get 5,000 miles out of the rear instead of, 2000 like you will in the TKC80. All right, so so um, get that out of the way. We're only 6 minutes in. It's pretty good. So, what do, what are we doing over here? What's the, what's up with the traction in your GPS is? Well, um <clears throat> I reached out to Moto Z and I said, "I love your tires. They're the longest lasting knobbies that I've had. I've ran all of your tires except for the GPS is. Um I just want a tire that I can um uh, run for uh, many thousands of miles, but that will also give me some some grip in the you know northwest BDR kind of riding. And those guys, the 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 importer, these are New Zealand based, but the importer is out of California. Uh, he said, "Don't get the Rowls, get the GPS." Uh, the GPS is their longest lasting knobby, longest lasting tire in general, because all they make is knobbies. The longest lasting tire they make. And, um, yeah, recommend it to me. I'm going to show you why it's the long, most longest lasting knobby they make. I want to show you one cool thing that I figured out, though. Uh, and these are, I think these are made in Europe, which is interesting. I thought they were made in New Zealand. But um, uh, I like the, on the side here, and if you can see this or not, let's get a little closer right there. Um, I'll zoom in. So, as you see here, you have 50-50. Um, 50 percent on road, 50 percent off road. Rotation goes this way. If you want primarily off road, your rotation is that way. I'm rotating, as you can tell by the the hub down here. I'm rotating it for the 50 50, uh, not for the primarily off road setup. So I just thought I would show that off and give you a, that little glimpse. But uh, what makes this tire unique? Well, it's this. So what you have in this tire is a solid center line. You've got a little bit of sip off to the side to allow for some channels to let mud uh, clear out of there. So you get a little bit of a grip that the mud can clear out. Um, and we're gonna be going this direction towards the camera. And so if you look at it this way, you have a nice pattern that grabs things and then can clear it out this way. Um, but what makes the mileage is that single trail. And so when you are on the interstate, just in cruise control, doing 65 miles an hour for eight hours straight. Um, this is the rubber that's going to get that much abuse. Now, when you get into something that is more dirty, sand, dirt, uh, maybe some mud, then you've got really deep, wide grooves that go in with these teeth that grab this direction like this. So they're, they're going this direction. Um, to grab onto the mud and the dirt and um, get you out of there. Now, you know, if you look at this side by side with the um, with the Tractionator Rouse, oh, you can obviously you can see how these are going to be better for off road because you have these very deep, blocky grooves to grab on. And so, what you're going to do is you're probably going to hit some sand or dirt and get a little squirrely. There. So this actually will be, and I think, I'm assuming based on this tire tread, this is actually going to be a very squirrely tire for um, not deep terrain. 
And so like Sandy Rhodes, um, it's like sand covered tarmac, um, uh, hard packed clay that's not, you know, wet, um, maybe even baby heads. Because what you have here, you still have a contact patch that is rounded. And so it's still set up for you leaning it over. Whereas the Tractionator series, the, the Rouse series and the HRT or whatever the other ones are, HTs, uh, are a wider pattern. So this is this is a wider tire in, in the way it, it it's it's flatter. This is round, this is flatter. And so this is gonna be more, way, way better traction for getting around. And, and unfortunately, that's the kind of situation we're in because the, the trip I have planned, if all goes according to plan, uh, it's 12,000 miles. And the Moto Z guys were pretty confident that this tire can last a long time. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to give you the mile they said it would last. I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but they, they, they were like, oh, 12,000 mile trip, get these. And, um, you know, just don't run over a nail. That's, <laughs> that's kind of what they told me. And, and these will be, you know, these last you a very long time on your trip. So um, if you think about the trip makeup, and I'll pull over the uh, the front as well. The front is, let's see how that oriented. Uh, I think it's this way. Oh, fuck. Go. Okay, there's the front. This is the matched pair here. So what they were saying was, um, what, what, I, what I'm thinking is that, you know, this is going to be a, a tire that is, great on pavement, good on deep stuff to get to not get stuck in the sand or just just spin the back wheel. But also on the front, um, what they've done on the front is they don't give you a solid patch on the front. They give you a nearly solid patch with these chevrons. And what that's gonna do for me is if I'm in sand and I need the front end, I'll tighten up the steering damper on the front. I'll, I'll have my right position properly. I'll be over the, the, the right, the back, the back wheel. Um, but, and I'll keep speed, keep the throttle on when you're in sand. But this will at least cut into the sand and keep me from um, uh, lock you know, a full a full left or right hand turn lock where I just dive into the sand and just just stay there. So and because the front lasts longer, they were they were able to give you a little bit more of that that chevron versus a straight patch. So this is the combo. This is both traction or GPSs. Um, this should keep me um, stable in sand and mud. This should keep me moving in sand and mud, but I need to be careful because the back end will be a little bit squirrely on anything that's not deep or just regular pavement. Hoping for the best. And when I tell, talk about the trip real quick before I end this video, the trip makeup is going to be um, get off the trailer in Oregon, hop on the Oregon BDR, hop on the Washington BDR. Both are very easy uh, relative to the Northeast and the Colorado BDRs. And then I'm on pavement all the way up to Dawson City and then I take Dawson City all the way up to Tuck, uh, and that'll be gravel. So this might cause some problems, we'll see. And then from there, head straight through about Dawson City, around Calgary to Banff, and then down into Glacier National Park, into the Continental Divide South, and maybe do some of the BDRs like in Utah or Colorado or New Mexico. And so, um, you know, this should be good enough to get me through to like Colorado, in which case I'll need to like stop by a BMW dealership and get tires for the way home, which will just be like Anarchy Adventures or something like that. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching everyone. This is the trip tire for the, uh, and you know, I, I told you guys the build was done. It is done, but um, had to put tires on for this trip coming up and looking forward to these guys. All right, uh, long video, thanks for watching, appreciate it. Sorry you had to look at my knee the entire time, but kind of the beauty of amateur filmmaking. All right, to everyone. Oh, oh um, Pacific Power, Sports, power, yeah, power sports is the distributor for these in the US. You can buy them directly from the distributor. In fact, right now there is a, um, the GS Giants have a coupon code where you can get these for like 25% off. Um, and the second place to get them from a retailer is gonna be uh, Rocky Mountain ATV. Um, I got 30% off uh, for being a, a, an influencer, which was like $10 more than I could have gotten off just from my GS Giants membership. but. Um, I'm always thankful when, when, when companies think I'm worth um, giving a discount to. So I appreciate it either way. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Ride safe and uh, see you on the road.